uh, hi, this is Luwama Samuel uh, again, and uh, today we are going to be looking at the actual installation of the system of Uganda EMR. And uh, last time we looked at, um, in the previous video, we looked at uh, how to get files, and I hope now you have the files on your computer. So now we are going to actually look at the actual installation of the system. So I have files right here. And as you can see, I have a 32-bit installer and I have a 64-bit installer. Uh, before we install the system, I need to determine what system type is my Windows and my computer. So I'm going to uh, go to startup menu and look for this PC. PC. In other computers, it may be this computer or my computer. And I'll go to properties and it will show me the 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 processor speed the amount of ram that is available then the system type which is a 64 bit uh, so actually i'm going to use 64 bit while installing the system so i'll close this then i'll go to the folder where my installer is instead of now picking 32 since i've established that my computer is a 64 bit now i'm going to use the 64 bit installer Okay, I'll just right click on it and then after I will minimize this. Okay, let's wait for the installer to launch. So I'll minimize this. So as you can see, the installer is launching and um, after it has launched, uh, it gives you a background of a a public license. Remember that Uganda EMR runs on uh, OpenMRS. It's built on top of OpenMRS, so it gives you pretty a license about OpenMRS. So the next thing that we are going to do is to agree. And after we agreed, it gives us the component section, which shows you every other software that is going to be installed. Um, Java, of course, my uh, Uganda EMR needs Java. It needs MySQL, it needs Tomcat, which is the server. It needs the Uganda EMR um, WAR file, which will be copied. Then uh, Firefox, since Uganda EMR is a web-based web application, so you need a browser to go ahead and install your system, to run your system, sorry. Uh, also, hide SQL for those experts who want to query, uh, query, information direct from the database, hide SQL is there. And then of course, uh, also there's this option of restoring an existing data, existing database of Uganda EMR in case you do have an existing database. Say you have just shifting from one computer to the other. Uh, you can just simply click that then after it will give you the option to browse your database and it will be restored. So um, now I'm not going to take that option since I'm doing a fresh installation. So I'll just go to straight to next. Here it will show me the directory where I actually this system is going to be installed. Then next, it will show me where the shortcuts are going to be installed. Then I'll click install. And I can see the details of what's happening. As you can see that it's uh, trying to extract JDK. So Java gets to be installed first. So at the moment we are installing Java. It's going to take some time, then after we go to the next component. So let's wait for Java to complete installing. And then after we go to the next uh, component that we'll install. So um, pretty much of this installer is that everything is almost next, next, next. You don't have to do a lot of work around it. And um, as you already seeing that, you don't have to fill in a lot of anything. You just have to keep on clicking next, next, next until you complete the installation. Okay. Um, as Java is installing, uh, we have to wait for it. So let's wait for Java to complete. Then after we proceed to the next. 
Okay. Okay, so Java is done. So our next thing which we are going to install is which is installing actually is MySQL. You can see that MySQL is already installing. And um, here, only MySQL actually allows you to configure it, but uh, still the standard is the same. You go next, then you just click standard, the standard configurations. Then you just tick off this include bin this is just to help the people who are going to troubleshoot. Um, then um, modify security settings. I'll uncheck this. Why am I unchecking it? Because uh, Uganda EMR sets up its own passwords and uh, also it gives security to MySQL itself. So as, as the installation process keeps on going. So I'm just going to click next and then after I execute. Okay, um, so let's wait for it to start, then after we proceed to the next. So MySQL is starting, so you can see that MySQL is, has started. So we have to click finish here, and then we go to the next component that we'll install. So, uh, you can see that at the moment MySQL is importing the database to the database, the default database of Uganda EMR. Uh, that's why that black screen is there. Then after it will disappear and we have another uh, setting. And then Tomcat begins to install. As you can see here, it's saying extracting Tomcat. Okay. Uh, Tomcat installs silently, so you won't be able to see or configure anything. Then after, it copies the WAV file and copies all the other components. Um, then after, now you can see that actually it, we are executing uh, Firefox, which is our browser of choice. Um, so after, after we have installed Firefox, then we shall go to the next component. Okay, so let's wait for Firefox to install. So you can see we just keep, click, keep on clicking next, next, next. And then after, you can see that um, Firefox is installing. Okay. So let's wait for it to complete. Then after we go to our next uh, component. Okay, so Tomcat, sorry, uh, Firefox has completed. So what we are going to do, we are not going to launch it now. We are just going to finish because uh, the installer will launch it later when it has completed the whole installation process. So let's wait for the next component to install then after we go. So Heidi SQL is the next component. Uh, Heidi is just a tool which you can use to execute uh, queries as you query your data so we shall also go ahead and install it we shall agree of course uh, Heidi is an open source it's available and um, so we shall agree and then click next it says that it's going to install in the directory then we click next next and then install so also we won't launch Heidi then we shall click finish. So after that is complete, uh, you can see that it was starting a Tomcat, so it has started Tomcat, and now it's launching the browser so that we can go ahead and actually start using the system. Okay, so that's pretty more like it when it comes to uh, installing Uganda EMR once uh, the system is loaded you'll see the login screen here and um, 
that is mainly about it on how to install uh, Uganda EMR. Uh, I'll call this a day and uh, have a great day as you keep on uh, learning about Uganda EMR. Hope you learned how to install Uganda EMR and I hope it's pretty simple. Okay, uh, see you next time on how actually to see how now we start using the system. Bye.